got me hype, let's go! What's up guys, welcome to Ogre Reacts. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's new gameplay footage and their new trailer they just dropped. And um, if you've been keeping up, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is going to come out this year, I think. But it's the new installment of the Budokai Tenkaichi series. The last Budokai Tenkaichi 3 was released in 2007. They're bringing it back. This was my favorite of all the Dragon Ball games other than Budokai 3. That was amazing too. If you guys have played the old games, you know how awesome these are. And I'm excited for this one to be released. I'm gonna be reacting to this new gameplay footage and this new trailer. Let's get into it. All right, we're starting off here. They're gonna show us Goku and Vegeta, it looks like, so. And they got the English dub. The classic face-off, the classic posing. Oh, right when they blast off the rocks, man, they, it explodes. I love the, um, the breaking atmosphere. You know, when you, you land into rocks or if you push off or blast off from a rock or anything like that or the ground, it explodes. When you blast them right there into the ground, the ground explodes. I love that. Woo! It looks like it's going to be a fast-paced game, too, just like all the other Budokai Tenkaichis. Oh, the detail when he powered up in the, um, right there, and his clothing. Look at this. That is beautiful. Dude, the clothing waving while he's powering up. The detail is incredible right there. That is sick, man. Oh, and no way, dude. They brought back the battle damaged look. Look, now we got Goku and Vegeta right here. Midway into the fight, and their clothes are battle damaged already. And I think, I think they added blood, which is a huge thing. Especially like um, bringing that back from the, the, the classic Dragon Ball Z anime. The battle damaged, bloodied up look. You guys, if you guys watch my stuff, you know that I love that look. They haven't really had that in games in a while. The blast look incredible. One thing that I do like that I'm seeing right here is like um, when we're blasting, like on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, um, all the combinations, all the numbers are like right in front of the blast. I've never liked that, and I don't see that happening much right here with this gameplay. It's more of like we're seeing like different little cutscenes when they power up right there. That's that's sick. We got the hit markers to the left, so it's small. That's what I like. It's not just covering the screen in so many numbers while they're um, doing their combinations. So he powered up the blue. He looks a little quicker. I wish they would really emphasize like when they do have power-ups. Let's say they do transform into Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, 3, 4, whatever. That you could tell... You know, a speed difference, uh, a punching power difference, or the, like maybe the sound of the punches are different. I hope they bring that in. Right there when he's punching him, mm, it doesn't really... I think they should add that in. I know this is... Um, it says footage shown is under development. Guys, from the company, if you're watching this video, please make it more powerful punching sounds, more dramatic when they power up so we feel like they're more powerful. That would just add this, you know, the level of this game, you know, to the neck to the next level. S tier, God tier, as you guys like to say. Oh! They're bringing back the classic beam battles, dude. So when you let's say you you got Goku, you hit a Kamehameha at the same time Vegeta does his Gallic gun, it's going into a beam battle. That is sick! Look at that, man. The detail of that. Wow. It looks just like the anime. That is sick. And then the atmosphere com comes back to, to daytime. After the dramatic, you know, conclusion of the battle. So that was, dude, I am 
Super excited about this. I cannot wait. And I think I got one more trailer to watch. I think they threw in another extra trailer. So let's watch that right now. All right, new trailer. Okay. And if you know Budokai Tenkaichi series, they have a huge roster. Jack Trunks! My man is back in the game. Let's go. Dispo's in here. So that means the Pride Troopers are in here. Jiren, Topo. Man. That looks sick. Dude, it looks just like the anime. Now, who is this? New character? I don't even... Who is this? Well, here's Roshi. I don't know who that last character was, who, who they brought in here. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments, but I've never seen that character. She's not from Dragon Ball, as far as I know. Here we go with Nappa. They're going to have every character in the game. I already know that, but there's going to be some surprises. That looks sick. The thing is, what moves are they going to add into this game? Here's Topo, our boy. That is sick, man. Shout out to Ray Hurd, voice actor of Topo, my boy. So this is cool. Oh, that combination is classic. Murder and Jace right here. Oh, wow. No way. Super Saiyan Kel is in here. Oh, versus. Hey, this has got to happen. Kel versus Broly in a Budokai Tenkaichi game. Oh, this is going to be dope, man. Broly looks sick, man. There's his classic power-up stance. We got hit in here, of course, versus Broly. Dude, this looks beautiful. The thing is about all, all that's sick. The cutscenes. Look at that. Wow. Dude, this trailer is sick. It's looking, dude, that is badass with Broly blasting everywhere. Dude, it's got me hype. Let's go. Man, this is awesome. Dude, and hey, they haven't even released the whole roster right here. Look at that. So, um, guys, this is this has got some, uh, some more surprises leading up to the release of this. It st still says it's on wish list, so um, it's not even pre-order yet. I hope it comes out this year because we need this game now. Look at all these character spots right here. They haven't even released all the characters yet. There's some. I see some. Man, that, I can't. I cannot wait for this game, man. We haven't had a Budokai Tenkaichi since the third one. I was a senior in high school in 2007 when this came out. I can't believe... We're finally getting the fourth one. And guys, I cannot wait. And I know you can't wait either. This was a fun one. Ogre reacts. Reacting to Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. This is going to be one of the best Dragon Ball Z games of all time. I can already tell. And I cannot wait. And I cannot wait to stream this game. And just um, and have some reactions for you guys on there. Guys, thank you for watching this first edition of Ogre Reacts. There's going to be more. And let me know what you want to see me react to next. Guys, be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to me, go check out my other videos. The Ogre is out.